Welcome back to part four of my High Queen Khalid Let's Play. Total War Warhammer 3. So, picking things up, we left them last time. I am going to go ahead and get that defensive alliance with Thoric with the dwarves by trading them Matrak, as I think that will be rather useful for us to shore up that western um, border for us right now, especially because we don't know what Krokgar is going to do. Loads of you guys have said he's super aggressive in your own campaigns, and you highly doubt I'll be able to get an alliance with him um, to kind of shore up the southern border. So it looks like we'll end up at war with him. So the last thing we want is potentially having dwarves going after us as well. Although, slight caveat with that defensive alliance, you guys did point out that the ultimate crisis that we have enabled for this campaign, which won't be firing until, I think I said it between turn 150 or 175 to 200 odd. Um, Thoric will eventually turn against us then with the a grudge too far that fires. So we'll need to be ready for that. If we've wiped him out by that point, apparently he respawns in, which makes sense. Um, because, yeah, ultimately we don't know what's going to happen with Thoric. Um, even after getting this defensive alliance, we will see if we can upgrade it to a military alliance to see if that does, as some of you believe, uh, that should give us the fifth book of Nagash. But if that doesn't, then we will need to go to war with him to get that fifth book because we don't want to miss out on that extra tomb guard uh, tomb guard with Halberd's uh, unit capacity. Plus five on those guys is pretty darn useful. Um, so, yeah, one way or another, we will eventually be at war with Thoric, be it turning on him to get that book or with the ultimate crisis. But I think that's looking a little bit too far long term it's, it's not wrong to look long term for some decisions but i think that's looking so far ahead in the future We're only at turn 20 right now a uh, defensive alliance is super useful for us especially because we just don't know what those lizards are gonna do um so let's dive on into diplomacy what's up go in what here brings you to my mighty forge give you Mahra. oh yeah one or two of you guys did as well say why not demolish the buildings and then wait another turn to do it i want to get the army out now which will once we trade with thoric we'll have enough money to get the great incantation of tarthi i want to get the other army up and running as soon as possible so we can push the temple of skulls and against skaven and potentially get ready for croc guard don't want to waste any more time plus these are only going to give us 150 each so yeah 300 it's it's yeah not worth thoric. worrying about in these dark times i mean every little does help but together. i think we can we can miss out on that. So we want to go for a defensive alliance. Unfortunately, we can't get that military one. Throw that in there. We still got 14.1 um, kind of relations there or trade diplomatic negotiation value there, whatever you want to call it. What, it, what actually is it saying? Diplomatic treaty. Yeah. Balance offer. Give us all money. We could actually increase that probably a little bit more. No, we can't. That's the most we can demand. He's actually it's giving us more than what we can demand from him anyway. So yeah, take that. Gives the plus two uh, or a 2.0 extra modifier there. They're proving that should rock it up to about 70, 80, I would imagine. So let's lock in Already that done. alliance with the Dowie. 87, perfect. Yeah, so he now won't turn on us. Means we can deal with Krokgar, be that alliance, go to war and grab this territory in the south, and then we can look to push north or deal or push out through this way and go after Scarbrand. Maybe that's what we do. Maybe we don't go immediately after Queek and give us a new enemy. Maybe we dive out through the Devil's Backbone and try and take out Scarbrand. I actually think that could be a potentially good idea as long as Lamia is well defended and we have an agent up here just checking what's coming in there we definitely want to get trade these all should become i would have thought trade will definitely become available for us within the next few turns once relations improve it's currently minus three that's why i think uh it's giving us that negative option there hopefully as i said we can upgrade to a military alliance to see what happens with the book um we will want to get an outpost in as well that'd be quite useful um although yeah if we do have to turn on him be a bit of a shame to cancel that but see all of its territory now. Yeah, I got a lot of it. Um, probably go for Capital Carrick Zorn, right? Although, actually, eventually you can get it globally. But yeah, pop it in there. Although that makes it tougher for us to take. I guess we could always conquer all the way through his territory and just leave him with Carrick Zorn. But then that's Golden Idols. Sheet location, that's important to the dwarves. Yeah. We'll, we'll just see what happens. That's, that's, that's future. Future stuff to think about. We're not going to pop that outpost in just yet. Because we are going to pop the Great Incantation of Tahoth. Give me that Casket of Souls. Um, once if you did say, would it not be more kind of thematic to ally with Krokgar? Because I think one of Kalida's voice lines is um, lizards, and lizards and snakes are cousins. Um, I'm going to go with the line. Well, well, we'll see what happens with Krokgar once we actually discover him in a minute. 
um, and see what diplomacy is like. But I'm going to go more with the fact that she wants to dominate all lizards and snakes. Let's go with that. Um, we can also give Timotep a, another point in two. So you get more replenishment. Let's finish off your replenishment and then you can go Canopic Jar order. And yeah, I was going to force march My you down here. Because even if this game can jump on me with those guys, High we'll have them. Queen. But we're going to recruit our other army here. And where's one of the ones we can get us for? Uh, tomb Scorpions. And then we'll go for Strategist. Canaris. So we'll probably rename you next episode. Be done. At the very least. Land of the Pop dead. in Root Marcher. And then with you, we can go straight for the Canopic Jar. There we go. Start building that up. Have we got anything we can give you? Any, any ancillaries? No, nothing spare right now. We can probably get some stuff out of the Mortuary Cult, though. Although I'm thinking... Do we want to just save it for the Regiments of Renown? Or the Legions of... Legions of Legend... Uh, yeah, Legions of Legend. What's worth going for first? Uh, we could upgrade that as well. I should take your advice. And yeah, before I start recruiting stuff, we've got this mission, which is to recruit melee infantry. So I think that'll count if I throw in you guys. Yeah, beautiful. Because that gives us even more recruit rank for melee units now. For eight turns, in fact, and recruitment cost reduction. Although, <laughs> that's a bit of a silly one because we don't have... I guess it's just a generic... Um, modifier isn't it combat focus yeah it doesn't cost us anything um yeah that's nice rank four all good on these guys oh shabti of course i get those guys in archers get the spears in you keep building up um we could put some global stuff in but i may want to move you um you know what though i will start putting some of you guys in anyway just because we can always cancel that if we need to and then yeah let's get that upgraded crit barracks and the yeah, upgrade uh, we need to upgrade that as well really get both of those in for now you can also get these guys in but i'm actually gonna swap them with Kalida. I'm going to take all three of those. Cancel that. I think I can merge some of those guys up, but actually... Begin, Animus. Swap that one out for the spear that we're about to get in there. We'll get rid of the, the bone throw. They go into this army. We'll keep we'll have the casket of souls instead. And the flock of Jaff. Archers are all super useful for us right now. Get rid of one of the yeah, Karan warriors. Then we'll have four melee infantry in there. Four spears. Yeah, let's see how that works for us. Um, yeah, and we'll force march down here so we can potentially go after the Temple of Skulls. I'm not worried about that rat army. Okay. Let's end the turn before we do need to move you over a bit there we go hello manfred that's nice let's see what's in store for us with the lizards i imagine they'll be available in diplomacy yeah they're now oh no sorry they're showing up in the end turn phase they should show up in our diplomacy panel is what i mean to say you want me to join the war? So actually, one of you guys said, why not offer to join the war against Krokgar? Um, I will eventually. We're in, we are improving. I won't do it just yet, just because if we 
can't grab Temple of Skulls. And it looks like he's going to be negative relations to us. We're going to probably end up at war with him anyway. It'd probably be more useful for me to pick pick that time carefully to jump on Krotgar rather than being forced into war right now. We might find a way to jump on him when he's weakened and do kind of like a surprise. Surprise war rather than just being at war with him now, especially when we're racing for Temple of Skulls. Okay, rats have jumped back there. Might be able to dive in Temple of Skulls and I've got rats to deal with. Refugees of War, you will accept. Kemri and the Exiles of Corn. Okay, good luck. We may get Setra coming to join us soon then. Wait. Here's the Black Pyramid. Right, what's the standing with the Dowie? Five going up to 85. Casting the runes is thirsty. Starting to come down. We can't do an outpost yet. We need more money. Asaf agrees. I can reach the temple. That's going to have a load of Skaven in it. But Krokgar should see them off. I don't think he's close enough to come in and support. I mean, I could just siege it, but they'd probably then try and break it from me. I think we could take a Skaven settlement with what we've got. So in we go. Well, actually, no, hang on. Now we can see Krokgar. How do you feel about us? Mm, yeah, just hearing. Mm, close to non-aggression, though. Declaring war on... or We have declared war on them, but smashing them at the Temple of Skulls might do it. Or I could go hit the rats. Actually, no, I don't think I can. I think we're just shy of it. Yeah, it's red. My wit. Valiant defeat. We have siege equipment, so we can get in there. I don't think that will be a valiant defeat for us. I think we'll be fine, especially with that casket of souls. I could say sieging it, but we don't want that army plus garrison and these guys all jumping on us. wonder what my range would be, actually, if I wasn't recruiting these guys, because I could probably bring them in. Authorix jumped over there. Enjoy. We need more archers. We will unlock more, though. We'll unlock more with those upgrading. So we'll more growth. We'll do that upgrade. Let's get that upgraded. I doubt you can make it in. So I don't want you getting caught out by that army behind when you're not ready. So in we go. Let's do it. Things will be a bit nasty. Towers are going to be nasty. I think we can weather them as long as Krokgar doesn't immediately turn on us. We'll be alright. I guess it depends how many losses we're looking at from this. Thinking actually that oh is that a tower there? Yeah, I was thinking otherwise that's not a bad one to actually go for because there's only one tower active. Although surely that can't fire that well. It's gonna be blocked by all those rocks if we deployed up here. It would concentrate them all in one place though. Just loads of towers all along there.
clustering them up, we could drop the death from above quite nicely. We're cavalry into attack a gate. Try and flank on round. I mean, if we have them here, we'll spawn someone over there to try and deal with it. It does probably be hit by slingers straight away, so sit back. Don't know how effective you are at firing at towers, but maybe we can use the casket of souls to fire at that. What's your ammo like, actually? 24, yeah, that's all right. We'll have a quick little look at the Regiment Renown in a minute as well. Hi, Queen Kalida. And if we use the that one. Apparently it makes the Casket of Souls bonkers. Help. Fire. Strength is 1.8. Move forward. Oh, nice. Having that cavalry over here has just pulled a load of them to this side. Okay, Cav, you stay here. We're not going in with you. We're not attacking the gate. You chill. Splat those rats. Oh, I was going to have a look at the regiment renown, wasn't I? Nice. As of course. I'm actually going to have you guys attack the gate because you'll be pretty effective at dealing with that. Get up on the walls. They're pulling back a bit flock over there. If we can fight them here across this bridge to make their numbers count for nowhere near as much. Are you guys out of the direct firing line? Oh, that's no longer active. Because they pull back. Power up casket of souls. It goes from 800 missile strength to 1.8. That is disgusting. He's working on the gates, but they haven't got that tower active again. They're about to, though. Hopefully, they're going to pull off the wall and stop it firing again. That's some big damage. Send him in. Move him out of tower range. Yeah, stop firing. Nice. How's that gate looking? Coming down. How are we doing over here? Yeah, we've held enough of them out the way. It's good. What's my flock doing? Take flight, my birds. There we go. Fly, 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 fly. Go off those slingers. Gate is down. Kalida in you go. Shabti, dive on in as well. Get 
get stuck in. Archers now get on the walls. Ah, yes. Right, the tower's helping us out. go. Beautiful strikes. How many kills is it saying it's got already? 94. It's definitely working. Fire off an explosion. Swarm them. Going well. Are they pulling their troops back from over here? They are. Try and keep some of them engaged by hitting that gate now. going to do because we want to draw them in. Draw my archers to annihilate them. Just form up with me infantry. You two come on inside. Flock back. Hi, Queen Kalida. Then have Kalida out front. What Messing up some rats. Move? Great boo. Great bow. Shabti, Wrath of Rat. Chill there. I am Get him, Kalida. Nice. How are we doing over here with the cav? Might be able to run him in for a cap, although they've kept their lord back. So doubtful. Big old wave of them coming in there. Form up here. And let him break upon our forces. They're going to pull back and hold up further back by the looks of things. Yes. Not lost too many yet, though, so that's good. Archers fire out here. Just create a, a kill zone. Beautiful. still making their way up there. Have you far in a way? That triggers the restless dead. Rush in. There are some slingers. Ah, oh, here we go. Slingers back here. Ignore the Skaven slaves. If they're not going to bother with me. Go, 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 Cav. We're in. Legion of the Damned. Off you go. They'll bring you spears in, though, so we may have to jump on down and go elsewhere. 
back. I know exactly where I want to send you. I want to send you off that barricade. Put some pressure on there. Capture point at the back. They're sending their lord up now. Yeah, the only thing is that tower. Get you to fire on that. Flyers can go hit it, actually. Give it a go. I mean, they will just rebuild it, so I'm going to have to push forward eventually. down get ready to move once they're done okay no don't want to lose them again come back over here that spears it is great Go through here, up and round, if you can. You'll have to be quick, though. I think we have to push forward. Souls into Skaven Slaves, so we can do. <laughs> you can run back that way. Well, that's not going to get you to where we need you. We'll see though if they do enough damage here. Don't think so for those spears. Nope. Oh, you guys are trapped. There's only one way to do it. Go, go, go. Give him the run around. You guys are in trouble. Critical binding. Might lose them. Take him out. No, Cab, don't go back. Uh, at least you're the damned, you're indeed damned. Damned to my command. So well, you're about to break. Hi, Queen Kalida. Over a cheeky cap. Yeah, shot out from all sides, though. Hi, Queen Kalida. Bada bing, bada boom. Doing too bad. Uh, 
I'm not going to cap it quickly enough. You guys are critical binding, crumbling. Oh, no. Rip Cav. But you have pulled a load of them away, so... I'm going to say you served a decent purpose. Done a good job. Got to slaughter these guys. More replenishment, please. Enemy Lord is dead. I'm hoping that leads to much enemy breakage. The serpent strikes. Then we shall see. the attack. Go, 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 go. Warrior queen. Hunt him down. Yeah, Cavalry definitely put a decent shift in for this fight. Distracting a whole big old portion of their force early on. We need a day since Legion of the Damned was annihilated. Never tire. Reset it to one. You get one use of that. Set you guys up quickly on here because then you should be able to fire on down on those guys. that center point. Stop the towers firing. Him go get that one. Come on, tap. You wouldn't mind if we get more regeneration. We'll come out of this with only like 300 killed, so that's not bad. This one. Okay. 
Turn it round. Any new buildings are down. I reckon we're going to see full route in a minute. Ah, Storm Vermin. Yeah, it's probably the last unit that's holding the enemy force together. keep pushing bring down that barricade they've all gone they're shattering there's the victory bada bing bada boom how close were we to that one ah can't trigger it i don't think take it 357 lost and yeah just the one unit of calf of course <laughs> of course it's 229 lovely Infantry did well. Kalida 215. Casket Souls 175. We can definitely get loads more kills with that. Um, I, I probably shouldn't have bothered with the towers. Probably should just focus on enemy troops. Because I didn't actually take either of the towers that I was going for down. So yeah, those were wasted shots. Note to self for the next siege. But yeah, from Valiant Defeat, losing our whole force to victory. I think, was it, were we going to lose our whole force? Actually, I don't know if sometimes you don't. There we go. And Occupy, because we want the economic jars. Maybe Croc Garga over there. I, I lead. So I could get non-aggression and I could get trade with Krokgar. And military access. But he's also at war. I think the moment I kind of signed that defensive alliance with Thoric, I was going to be going to war with Krokgar, to be fair. Because they'll still be going at each other, which will not do well for relations either way. It's not a huge amount of trade. A nice territory here that would allow me to sweep into the desert from alternate angles as well. How many how many regions do you have? Four, so one, two, yeah, three, and then four. Who's further south of you? It's Teclas, isn't it? How's Teclas feel about us? Don't know, that's the thing. If we keep pushing south, are we gonna ever get a chance to go north? You guys hit hard. Well, we know it's an option, I guess. Maybe we can even get peace if he turns on straight. What was this? Parched Oasis. Nice. Got growth in there already. Lovely. I mean, more territory that we take, the more unit caps that is we increase. Wise. So I think that's all right. Let's go to war with the lizards. True blessing of a saf. Yep, 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 yep. Purified or the bar is best. Skeletal archers plus three recruit rank. 25% ammunition for skeleton archers. Action white. Nice. Necros weapons at rank 14. So two more ranks for that. Uh, legionary barrage. Embalming elixir. Do, 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 and then Warrior Queen. Very nice. I think we'll go for Libara's best. Although I won't be recruiting any more archers for her. I mean, I'm assuming that's what it's for. It doesn't say faction wide under ammunition, though. Yeah, actually, I'm 
Gonna go for legions of the ass goddess first. For that wind. What? For that wind. Address me as your highness. Uh, I'm gonna save our money so we can get that upgraded in the next couple of turns. Thoric, you must like the fact that I just What's splatted it? rats. Yes. Just need to let you build You're up a bit more. Let's see what Crocgar does. He's going after the rats. If we're going to take him out, you probably want to jump on him. We're probably going to need both armies. So if I bring my other one on, down. Then we join the war through the dwarves for maximum diplomatic gain. Oh, no, he falls much over there. Okay, the other army's going to have to push across that way. Something is amiss, O oh Queen of Liberas. Why does the mighty Venom Star fail to stir at your touch? Asaph is your goddess, my lady. And you must divine her will. Rouse your priestesses and seek their counsel. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got a quest battle there, but we've also got a mission for taking out this guy. Battle Masters, Canopic Jobs plus 20 and a thousand gold if we do it within the next six turns. I mean, they're taking attrition. I can't quite reach you there, which is unfortunate, but I can force march to the Doomsday to protect it. Venom Staff. Lovely. Cash replenishment, 10%, uh, 50 canopic jars. Enemy force are up against vampire counts. I imagine we want to be tomb guarded a bit more. It. How is Croc Car? Is he still deteriorating? Going to be alliances with Iron Browse Expedition, isn't it? You are jacks. So I can do that. Oh yeah, we can't make an we can't make an alliance with him. We could do non-aggression, but that's fairly easy for him to break. Yeah, if you have serpent, no, actually, all of those are part of the same province, aren't they? Do all of that and get a bit of money from him. Or we could go smash him and take more territory, but then techless. Do we do we just have more problems for ourselves by constantly pushing south? <laughs> or should we risk the lizard? The lizard diplomacy. But then he's going to be going to war with Thoric. And that's going to be a bit of a back and forth well. there. And Thoric is now improving. Our bargain will be in Not quickly, in but eventually. Um, I need, uh, actually, I wonder if I could. Could oh, I? Make it snappy. I've got work to do. I could actually get them to go to war with uh, Scarbrand. I feel like that's throw that in there when we're ready. Use the Dowie for that. I think that's what we'll do actually. Then, but we won't pop that just yet because I want to be. Ready to strike Croc guy. He's got another army here. I'm going to need both armies, I reckon, to take him out. That's a lot of nasty veterancy. Thankfully, very few missile troops will be missiling away. But I mean, if we compare stats, my Nehekara warriors are 39 attack, 29 defense. Compare that to Saurus warriors, 38, 37. Oof. Tough boys, but not heavily armored. You, you're going to need to force march across the Doom Glade as well. We need to deal with the rats first. So yeah, we'll force march you over to the Doom Glade. No, need my protect on the rats. They can't get over to Resetra and we can jump back there in a single turn in force march if we need to. Meanwhile, uh, where are they going to run? They can go around that way. Meanwhile, Kalida move an ambush here, I reckon. Because they'll either try and leap on over or rush towards Stream. Temple of Skulls. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, let's do that, actually. I was thinking I'll, I'll set it up here for next turn. Let's do one more in turn, though, because we're not going to do diplomacy with the dwarves to go after Crocgar anyway, just yet. Ambush with Kalida. Force march across there. 
my dynasty. Save our money again. We could get an outpost. Um, but I want to get that upgraded. So that one's already getting up to tier three, so that goes straight to the next one. Yeah, save it for a turn. End the turn. And see what happens. Oh yeah, of course. You've got to move over there. We'll keep on. We'll push south now to explore what's to the south. Last defenders not interested in declaring war on us. I think. I think I'm kind of surprised. Thinking like, why do are they doing it? Because I'm um, defensive allies with the dwarves. Probably they're all with the dwarves. So they want to focus on them. It's probably halted their aggression against me a little bit. And they're attacking me at the Doom Glade. It is all resolvable comfortably. But by rats. Rise, my legions. Rise. Uh, the extra gold would be nice. Extra marching range to then go after Croc Guard would be good as well. But Canopic will replenish up for anyway. Canopic jars are nice. I'm going to go push for that though. Extra movement. See what options that gives us. Last offenders. Slamish, I was like, please don't let that be the right primary glory. Okay, he's this is this is perfect for us to launch a strike then. Mission successful, battle masters, compic jars we gained from that anyway, a thousand gold. Perfect. Unhappy populace. Just everywhere. Great. That's what we need right now. Yeah, this is perfect because Kalida can strike Krokgar from there. We can bring our other army in front. Then they've got one more army, but we'll be able to knock that out between the two. So I think we are going to be bashing some lizards in the face at the start of the next episode. Just check. Oh, he's actually improving now. <laughs> Fortunately, there isn't a diplomacy option to be like, please peace out with, uh, with Thoric. So Thoric's not going to move because we... He doesn't have... I'm listening. Oh, no, he does have military access. Good. We're improving rapidly now, mate. You'll reflect the fate you will like the fact for me... Paths. If I... If, oh! Oh, you're at war with the Exiles of Corn. Oh. I was going to ask you to join in on that. When did that happen? Yeah, there we go. For the wisdom, if I take out Croc Gar, though, it means you guys can focus on Corn. And I can go after Queek. Oh, Voltmar, you have not hung about, have you? You're going to be a major threat for us to deal with. Okay, well, I can still offer to join the war, and then Kalida pushes in there. And this army also marches in, and we pincer them. Although, I actually probably want this army coming around from the same side to attack. So, I'd probably move you around to, well, yeah, move you right around here and then go in for the attack. Let's sort of feral Stegadon. I think we can handle you. Cetra can now be upgraded, so we'll pop that in there. Kemri. Non-aggression. There we go. That's what we want. Right now, anyway, because probably just a high chance of you getting wiped out. Let's throw that in there. Yeah, you're quite weak. Did you not like my treaties with Kemri? You did not. Greetings. What do you require of Karakazol? I have to send you that. Or just declare war on... Actually, trade agreement and... <laughs> yeah. Thought that would probably do it. I think that's where we'll open. So if any of you have a case for Krokgar staying alive, now's your last chance to do it. But I think we will strike the lizard before he strikes us. Move down, claim his settlements, and hope we don't open a bigger can of worms with... Uh, Techless and what have you. Sure, up our defenses here and then get Kalida. I'd say going north, but we're probably going to want to sweep through the desert and push up this way. We're going to need to wait until we've got more armies to go northbound against Queek, perhaps. Or at least sweep up this way or sweep through Scarbrand and then on to Queek. He's at eight regions oh, already, though. 
he's probably he's pushing probably aggressively up here so we could probably gobble up a load of this choices 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 we have many of them join us next time where we'll make some more until then don't forget to comment rate and subscribe follow me on facebook and twitter take pride of the legion check out my affiliates and sponsors games planet and overclocks uk till the next one ciao for now